A strange fortress lurks on the horizon. The forsaken fortress of forsaken things and forsaken prophecies. It's so forsaken, we shouldn't even be going into it. But hey, we're Link and we're smart. Hey everybody, it's the Purple Toad here coming at you live from the bike because that is my basement and welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, um, we, our sister Errol, got kidnapped by a giant bird who we can see nesting up there. Um, and in this episode, we are going to yeah. infiltrate the Forsaken Fortress of Forsakening. And we're going to see if we can rescue her. So let's go up and talk to Tatera. Tatera. And let's see what she's talking about. She wants us. Alright, I bet it's nothing dangerous. I mean, we'll probably just swim to the island. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Uh, no. Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Nice head nod there, Tetra. Come on, we were at an entirely different angle. What the heck? That rock wasn't even there. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago, it used to be a hideout for no good group of pirates who we used to compete with. They were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Run! Ah, I knew it. Look, over there. Look over there, by the window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? Yeah, around my sister. I bet you anything, that place is where they got your sister locked up. Oh, well, yeah, it is my sister. It looks like they've got the whole place under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. I don't like that. What do we do now? Oh, she knows exactly what we're going to do. This is Tetra's brilliant plan. Stuff Link in a barrel. And catapult him into the Forsaken Fortress. What could go wrong? Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into this dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do it all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Oh, yeah, or a piece of blood-splattered grossness. Is everybody ready? No! Link is obviously not ready. Never you fear, kid. We're bros. We're gonna launch you for good. Three. Two. Link is ready. No, he's not so ready. <laughs> Woo! Why is he waving? It's like, ugh. Right. Oh, right in the face. And we lost our sword. Oh, great. Oh, looks like we're gonna fall down the wall here. Oh, man. What is it with kids and not feeling fall damage? Seriously. All right. So, that's that. We aren't very happy about that. The Forsaken Fortress. It seems like a very creepy place. Link is really tired after all that. So much oh boy. Your sand land sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry, I apologize. My right, aim was off by a little bit. A little bit? We almost died! <laughs> the look on your face. Priceless. Yeah, when I could have died. I slipped this stone into your pocket just before he fired over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through this stone. And obviously you can hear me through it. So if you see, press A, then you'd better press the button. I put that stone in your quest status screen. Use the boop on the items to look, take a look at it. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister. So don't go on losing it, you understand? Yeah, which is impossible. It's not written in the game's code. Alright then, down to the brass tacks. I don't know. The courtyard is awash with searchlights, so they'll see you right away if you just go charging in. Better think it through. Alright, whoa. Good advice. No, Alright, so we need to go Metal Gear Solid style. I th I've already used Metal Gear Solid style twice in this video. But we need to become a barrel and go down whenever the searchlights get near. So if you get... Oh boy. If you get good at memorizing their patterns, they aren't too like hard to dodge. Um, but they can take you by surprise. They have taken me by surprise one too many times. Um, so these red rupees are worth 20. So we need to strategically strategize to get around here. Oh, boy. Alright. Go. Oh, man. Okay, that one's just out of reach. Alright. Uh, so we don't want to go in there yet, do we? I kind of don't remember what to do. 
So this might be a little confusing. But anyway, wow, Link, super strength. You open those huge doors. All right, so here we kind of have like a map of where everything is uh, on the wall right there. Um, and it says we're in that one place. So we don't have our sword, so we're kind of just on our own here, just fending for ourselves. All right, let's go right. Um, as Tetra said, we need to get rid of those searchlights, and then we can finally go up and try to save our sister. All right, so we're kind of making our, our way around the outside of the fortress right now. Um, we can climb up here. Oh no, the Delens! I don't know what they're called, but it sounds like they say the word Delen. Those are the enemies I thought we were going to run into um, when we were climbing the outset island mountain. Mountain? Oh, that sounds cool. Um, but, oh, come on, get out of here, Delen. We don't want you. Hey, hey, I'm going to throw this at you. Okay, that doesn't really work. Can we roll into them? No, nope, that doesn't work either. All right, let's grab this chest and get some invincibility frames. All right, what could it be? It is a compass, so now we can see where things are hidden in the dungeon. This isn't a dungeon, it's a forsaken fortress, guys. Alright, so once we go through this door, the Delens won't bother us anymore. We don't have anything to worry about. Except for this long hallway! Woo! Alright, so, if we come up here, we can find where our first searchlight is. So it's up there. Um, they're all guarded by these, like, stupid little people. So we need to get rid of them, and then... The searchlights automatically stop. So let's go do that now. If you want to be stupid, you can jump down there. Uh, I think there's another way to get to it, but we're all. Oh, Tetra wants to talk to us. All right, cool. Listen up, Perp Dirt. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then just maybe I'll. Ser it'll search the. Search. It'll stop the searchlight and shut it down. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? And you have it as a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows. And see if I could make it drop its weapon. If you did that, you could pick up its weapon with A. But that's just me. What will you do? Probably what you just told me, because it's just you. Actually, not just what you told me. Be no, come on, Link. Grab the ladder. There we go. All right. Um, so let's climb up here. Uh, I'm not going to do exactly what you told me. Because as you can see, there is a jar of perfectly good weapons over there. So we're going to evade this guy. And grab them. Throw them at the wall. Pick them up. And then kill him with them. All right. So yeah, uh, the second he starts stops manning them, they will just go up in the air like that, and I'll signal that we've uh, just like killed him. So yes, we'll just keep beating him away with his own weapon. Wow. All right, and he will give us. Oh, cool. These things are nice. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, come on. All right. So if we get that, it'll. Oh, so this is. It'll just burst a bunch of things onto the screen. This, you got a joy point, Bendit. You can keep it in your spoils bag. These pendants are said to flock like those, like those who spread joy, like butterflies to nectar-filled blossoms. All right, cool. Uh, so we got a heart to replenish our health, as hearts do in every game, except for uh, I think it's a Mario game where hearts are actually one-ups. Um, so and we can actually get the other searchlight right here. All right, no, we can't. Um, is there a way we can like jump? On there. I'm gonna see if we can trick this out, but my bet is no, we cannot. Alright, come on. This ladder is so weird. Yeah, we probably can't. It's too far away. We can try, though. Go. Oh, yeah, there's an invisible wall, too. Oh, that would totally break the game, though. That would be awesome. I mean, not awesome, because this game is epic, but still. Alright, so it looks like we have two more searchlights to get rid of. Or three. I think there might be one up there. Um, let's see if there's another... Okay. So this will just kind of give us an overview of the place. So, yep, yeah, we've already seen that shot like a million times. These hallways get a bit confusing because you don't really know which way is the right one. Um, but just kind of keep trekking around and you'll eventually find something that looks right. So, not you don't... Oh, I almost fell there. Whoa, Link, kind of crazy jumping there. Uh, you always kind of want to stay on the top row here, um, because if you go on the bottom, you kind of have to climb your way back up, and that's no fun. And, oh, we get the same, or not really the same, but kind of the same exact shot that we got of the last one. All right, all right, so there is a bridge, or a walkway, that leads up here to our next person that we must kill to raid... I don't know. All right. So after, okay. Oh, good. This ladder actually worked. How about that? Whoa, that is cool. That is awesome. It's so huge. 
All right, so let's pick up this thing. Well, can we hit him with it? That'd be funny. All right, hello, friend. We're just gonna kind of come here and kill you. Oh, okay, that didn't really work. Um, let's kill him. I didn't mean to pick another one up. So let's target him and just kill him. Whoa, nice. We hit him one on one though. It's kind of mash. This whole game is kind of just. Oh, you can also throw this. Link's got an amazing arm. Like, look how far he can throw it. He threw it all the way across the room. Um, oh, he only gave us one rupee. Oh, this sucks. Um, I don't think you can take your weapon down with you. Um, if you can, then that's too bad. Uh, as you can see, we need to push that crate to climb the ladder. And I don't know how Link can, like, fall from 100 feet and be fine, but not jump two feet and grab onto this ladder. Uh, I don't know. So, yeah, you can't take the weapon down with you. So don't even try. I think you could, but it would be too much of a bother. Um, which way did we come? Uh, it was the... I think it might have been this way. Alright. Yep, this is the same way we just came. My brother is giving me, giving me advice from off screen. So I should have listened to him. Alright, now let's keep on going. Keep on growing. I think we're almost circled back around now. Oh, yes, we are. Um, so now we're back where we started. Oh, jeez. Um, so we better just keep on... Oh, All right, so we better just keep going on the... Oh, jeez. Okay, we do not want to be caught by these guys. Oh, I should probably grab a barrel. Okay, so these are moblins. And they're the, like, the most famous Zelda enemy. So, oh, jeez. Nothing to see here, just a barrel out of place. All right, Mr. Mo the Moblin. Uh, Mo the Moblin is a character that, oh, come on. He doesn't even smell me and I'm right there. Mo the Moblin is a character that comes later in the game. Oh, uh, nothing to see here. Go. All right. These guys are really stupid, though. Oh, watch, I'm going to say that and get caught. Like, right now. Okay, so we need to wait for him to turn around like this oh so smart person he is come on dude there's enough sniffing what are you even looking for well I guess they know that there's an infiltrator in their midst and now it's safe go all right cool I remember having a lot of trouble with that um, but I guess not now um, so yeah we can stare into the starry night uh, the graphics in this game look so good I just have to say um, and there is no point in us being here Oh, good. Um, if we were to get caught, we would be thrown in jail here, where we can just escape. So, that's really nice. Um, you know what? I'll, I'm gonna get thrown in jail right here, right now. Alright. Oh, hey, Moblin. Oh, he didn't notice me for a second. Holy cow! We just kind of got burned alive at the stake now. So, yep, yeah, uh, when you get caught, you get thrown in jail. And you might think there's nothing to do. Get me out of here! I'm just a child! I've been framed! Yeah, not gonna work, Link. Oh, maybe that was another jail, because I don't recognize this place. Alright, anyway, um, there is a side... Oh, poor Link, he just got his head taken off. Um, but there's this secret little place up here. If you throw this jar away, it'll give you a rupee, and it'll give you a way out. You'd think, like, after all this time, they'd have checked this, but... I don't know, those moblins are real smarties. Alright, hopefully this will take us out somewhere that is actually nice and that we can find stuff with, because that would just make my day. Okay, is this the same place we were just at? Oh, no! Alright, yeah, this is up. Yeah, this is somewhere else. Alright, um, so yes, we got a... I think this is the dungeon map. This will help us a lot. Um, so yes, the dungeon map, you can view it by tapping the map screen on the Wii U gamepad, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so, basically, um, on my screen, if you can, you can't see it right now, but I can see everywhere where the dungeon layout is. So, it turns out that we must go back this way, because there is a room we haven't visited yet. So, let's go in there. Alright, yeah, so it turns out that I was right that first time, brother. When I said I said I wanted to go on the other room in the hallway, um, oh, this is the wrong. This is another hallway. All right. Um, is this the same one? Uh, no, it's not. All right. Okay. My God. Trouble with ladders. Okay. Thank you, Link, for cooperating. 
If this is the last one, then this is the... Is this the last one? Nope. We've already... Oh, no, we haven't! Oh my god, this is the fastest run I've ever done of this level. I usually, like, I'm, I'm running around for hours here. Holy cow, that's awesome. All right, now can we hit you with a pot, please? That would be awesome. All right, nope. All right, target him. And throw. Oh, wow. Oh, man, he got, like, stuck there. All right, my favorite way to finish off these guys is doing this. Boom. Okay, it didn't really finish him off, but let's grab it. I didn't mean to do that. Let's grab it. Stop pulling me. All right, and throw. Woo! Sorry, dude. Oh, uh, I guess throwing isn't the best way to kill them, but it, it makes for cool long shots. Like, I didn't mean to do that. Like, there we go. That'll finish him off. Let's see what he drops. Nerupi. Thank you. All right, cool. So that is all the searchlights evaded. Now it is time to go for arrow. So, um, what do we do? We go over, not down there. We go back down the ladder, like a good child. Where's the ladder? There's the ladder. Um, so I'm gonna come down here and drop like a boss. <laughs> All right. Um, I think we need to keep on going. Where do we go? All right, so it seems we've already been in here. Oh, so we're at the very top floor right now. Um, oh, yes, this is exactly where I want to be. Awesome. This is going very, very, very much well. All right, uh, that trust is already open, though, so that's not a good thing. Yep, we've been in here. Oh, no. I'm lost, aren't I? Oh, no, now I see a door we haven't been to. Okay, so now we're on the right track. Yes, this is the same. This is the... This is where I was actually... Oh, that was a close one. I don't want to have to climb back up here. Um, this is what I was originally trying to do. Um, yes. Uh, so if we just keep following these hallways, uh, not go up there, we can find our sister. Let's keep going up here. And this is one of the hardest parts in the entire level. Okay, this is not one of the hardest parts. Alright, the good thing is that if we fall, we can just climb back up on those beds. Um, but we aren't gonna fall because we're awesome! We have this creepy moblin right here. I think he'll, like, shoot lasers out of his eyes. That might be later in the game. I mean, what? We don't come back to the Forsaken Fortress later in the game. What? No, of course not. All right, uh, so we got a box here. And if we remember correctly, we needed a box. So it's kind of like gesturing. The game's kind of gesturing us to where to go right now. So Tetra has something to say. Aha, I've got it, Perp Turd. In order to reach the top of the tower where your sister is being held, You'll have to find the room right below this tower. You've got to climb the door to the outside and then climb up from there. You got that? I got that. All right. Oh, yeah. So now is where the box pushing comes in to play, I think. I hope. Please. All right. Um. Oh, it looks like we can't even move this, can we? All right. Uh, let's try. Uh, it doesn't look like we can move it anywhere, though. Oh, yes, we can. All right. Is there anywhere to drop it? Because I do remember there was a box, but it was not this one. Alright, um... Yeah, there's nowhere to drop it. Let's see over here. Uh, yep, nowhere to drop it. Um, so, I guess while we kind of have nothing to talk about, I should talk about while, um... Like, my reason for getting this game is, uh... I watched PBG do his, like, collection series of Wind Waker, and that was so cool he like made all those videos just perfectly i wish you would do a full-on let's play because that would be really fun um but anyway now we got us oh boy yes these moblins are much tougher okay just kind of inch our way all right he's sniffing. oh geez i'm not here i'm just a barrel inching closer to you gosh whoa creepy what the heck floating arrow just comes out of nowhere all right now while well, his back is turned all right, don't turn around very sporadically, please. All right, let's kind of tail him very, very calmly here. We don't want to get too close, or else we might be thrown in jail, and that would not be very good. Oh, boy. Hello. Oh, look at his lip. It's just flapping. Are you serious? Are you that stupid? You did not notice the barrel that you just walked by two minutes ago, or two seconds ago. All right, I'm not here. I'm not here. Oh, I'm not here. I'm not here. Alright. Oh, there's where not... Or, uh, 
wherever the whatever the fairy's name is in uh, Ocarina of Time went, he, she's like floating around that moblin. We don't want to move here, or else we will definitely get caught. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, go, 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 go. Not here. I'm just a barrel. I'm just a barrel. All right, please pass, pass, pass. This will be the best run I've ever done of this level, of the one run that I've done of this level. I just remember last time it took me 18 hours to do it. Uh oh. Usually when they sniff, they turn around. Okay. I don't think we're gonna be able to. Oh no. Oh, come on. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do this. Oh no. Yeah, they probably did not intend for players to be able to do this. Um, so maybe if we. No, don't. Oh my god. Alright, I'm not here, dude. Oh no. Alright. Well, we most definitely probably cannot. Oh, dude, please move. Come on. Ugh. Okay. 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 Come on. Are you. I'm. Your head is inside my hiding place, and you don't know where I. Oh. Oh, man. So close. Getting away. Come on. Come on. So close. I can taste it. Oh, I'm right at the stairs. Please. Come on. I'm not sure this is the way that you're intended to do it, but... Oh, come on. I'm right here. Come on. Yes, did it. Oh, good thing the moblins can't hear me scream there. I don't think you're intended to do it that way. Oh, man. That was scary. All right. Well, now it's the home stretch. Um, awesome. So now we don't have to trespass that moblin anymore. Um, but we are without a sword, so that leaves us at a disadvantage. We have a mini boss coming up, which will be very, very not really hard. Alright, um, so we got some more stealthiness to do over here. This moblin is not as bad as the others, but he will throw you in jail nonetheless. And then we have to do uh, nothing. Stop flapping your jumps up. Pfft, flapping your jumps. Flapping your jaw up and down. Alright, um, yeah, he will throw you in jail nonetheless, so this guy is even worse to be caught with, because then you have to make it past all those other guys again. Right, please don't stop. Don't stop. Okay. And there's nothing. There's just a mysterious barrel that magically appeared. Nothing new. Look at his little pigtail just flopping up and down. Alright, there's nothing here. Okay? Yeah, these stealth sections can get a bit boring, but hey. Oh, come on! You are not even looking at me. Alright, let's make sure we're out of range. Alright, hopefully he'll turn right. Ha, ah, we'll just switch past him. Ah, stinking moblin. Don't even know what's happening. Alright, cool. So now we are almost at the end of the level here. Or the dungeon, as they say. Um, I think there's some delens in this. Oh, no. I remember this. Oh, no, this is... Another time uh, when this section is much harder and another time when it is when you have cannons firing at you, which is very, very much hard. So good thing it's not that hard this time. Uh, but ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. OK, if we fall, if we fall, we have to go through all of that again. Oh my god, I cannot, I will not be able to do that. I swear I will not be able to do that. Oh, we could probably just take the other entrance if, even if we did fall. But we aren't going to fall. Because we're Link, the probably hero of time, but it, has, it never really is established. Um, so yeah, we can do it. Alright, so the bird is up there. Evil bird. And there's our sword. Oh, happy day. And there's our healer. Ah, run! Pick up your sword! So yeah, this is the mini-boss music. It's pretty cool. Um, so... Alright, we're squaring off against this guy here. Hobgoblin, I think, is what it's called. Alright, okay. Okay, we're, we're sizing up our encounters here. Go! Psh! Okay, that was really cool. Ah, Alright, if we killed him in one... Alright, two should do it. 
three should do it. All right, cool. Three does do it. Third. Oh, never mind. Four should do it. Okay, there we go. Fourth time's the charm. New phrase. Fourth time's the charm. All right, and there is our passageway opened. Awesome. So we defeated that mini boss, who is not very hard to defeat. And now we are going to save our sister. Woohoo! <gasps> Yay! Ooh, something seems off here. It's the giant bird! Ah! Ah! Uber scary times! Alright. Whoa, Errol, no, don't be distressed. Oh, well, yes, do be distressed, because your brother is right now being eaten by a bird. So it looks like we aren't going to save Errol after all. And now we are at the... We are now at the begging of this gigantic bird who seems to be working for someone else. <laughs> yes, and that gestural little head nod to the side makes the bird throw us into the oblivion. Oh, this is kind of like in, uh, what's the, the, the link, link to the, a link, but, uh, I don't know, whatever the game where, like, it's all a dream and he's, like, on a, in a shipwreck and stuff. You're a mysterious oh, boat yeah. pulled up alongside us. Perp turd. Perp turd. Wake up, perp turd. What, what? Where, where am I? Pull yourself together, perp turd. Well, I'm trying. Is that you, the sun? Whoa, whoa. Oh, the frame rate on his eyes there is kind of weird. <laughs> well, have you come to your senses yet? Who's talking? Oh, the boat, of course. You're su surprisingly dull-witted. Yeah, to not believe of my boat is talking to me. That makes me dull-witted. Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear, I am not your enemies. Enemy. Perp turd. I've been watching you since you went into the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him. That shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Perpter, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Yes. Will you do anything to save her? Yes. Yes, yes. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. Hey! The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Yes! Long yes. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat, I possess the power of speech. I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. Well, he, he's not entirely, like, incapable of sailing. He just kind of slowly trudges along. I brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is the town of merchants who deal in a wild variety of goods. Wait! You said you couldn't sail the seas, and yet you brought me all the way here from the Forsaken Fortress. What? 
If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sail sell you a sail. I'm sorry to ask you of this, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. The island of Merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavors at sea, so listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. And so that is our introduction to the King of Red Lions. And he has made us come here onto Windfall Island, where we should be looking for a sail. And we will be doing that in the next episode and see what all these friendly faces have to say. See you guys then.